People are guessing about what GPT-5 will bring because the rise of chat GPT has been so crazy. If you look at how fast it grew compared to other apps on the internet, you can see that it was one of the fastest growing platforms in the world at over 100 million users. We know that chat GPT is going to have a big effect on the world because it reached 100 million monthly users in only two months. If you can do that, you can be sure that the effect will be felt everywhere. As for GPT-5, GPT-4, and GPT-3, you can all see that there aren't many differences between them. There are going to be some very interesting changes. On the left is chat GPT-3, in the middle is GPT-4, which is text to images, and on the right is GPT-5, which I obviously expect to consist of text to image and video modes. You might be able to use videos to get information, or you might be able to convert text to video, which would be great. If you like these kinds of videos, do me a favor and show some love on this video by simply liking it. It really motivates us to keep pumping out as much content for you guys. It's going to be very interesting. The cherry on top now is touch, and the only way this is possible is if OpenAI gets their hands on some really cool robots or builds them some cells, which I'll talk about later in this video. It's very interesting to see how they're going to start putting real-world robots into our everyday lives. Now you can see right here that the implications of GPT are huge because GPT-4 is much better and smarter than GPT-3, and the vision just makes it that much better. With GPT-5, it's likely to pass these tests with flying colors, which means this kind of software will probably be used all over the world. Imagine you're in a third world country, but you have access to the best lawyers just by downloading a simple app. With new features and modes like image and video, you could just record a video and ask GPT to figure out what the problem is and give you a solution right away. It could very likely just find the solution in your environment. It's already done something amazing, and if everyone on the planet doesn't use it, they'll be at a disadvantage. We've already seen how good GPT-4 is at understanding images and using them to do things. It could listen to simple commands like making this website. The possibilities are really endless, and you have to remember that we are only at GPT-4, which means that GPT-5 will be a million times better, especially once those integrations have managed to work with the robots that OpenAI is supposed to be working on in the background. Because we all know that this is what will happen in the long run. Now, we do know that some companies have already put language models into moving robots. Here you can see a Google robot, the Palm E robot, with a 540 billion parameter model that is interacting with its surroundings. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think would happen if GPT-5 gets released to the public. Will it replace jobs? Let me know. You can see here that there is an adversarial disturbance where they actually take the item from its hand to see how the robot will handle this problem. This is why I think Google will always be doing some very interesting things with AI, we just have to see what they've been able to release to the public. This just shows what chat GPT-5 could do if OpenAI quickly deployed an autonomous force. As we can see, they can already interact with the environment very well, and we know that this technology is only going to get better. Recently, someone sent out a tweet. Supposedly, GPT-5 is bound to finish training in December, and that OpenAI expects to achieve AGI. This means that we will all argue a lot about whether or not it actually achieves AGI. Many people think that this will be one of the key turning points when the singularity happens, and we're already seeing signs of this AGI coming to life. If you haven't been paying attention to the AI landscape, you may have missed the fact that GPT-4 has been seen as something that has sparked the development of AGI. This research paper was done by Microsoft, and it was done by a large team that looked at PayPal for a long time. Some people call this strong AI or computer programs that have some kind of consciousness. And we know that some people have already said this about GPT-4. Some of these things are already true, like how good it is at recognizing colors. It is also very creative and can already write code, as you can see here. The only thing we are missing is fine motor abilities. This includes grasping keys from a pocket, which requires a level of imaginative thinking that GPT doesn't have yet. But that will definitely happen in the future if things keep going at that rate. OpenAI is invested in a company called 1X. This company used to be called something else, but it changed its name to 1X. I think it changed its name to 1X so it could focus on making AI robots at a large scale. These robots were called Hello D Robotics before the name change. Basically, these robots are good at doing simple tasks around the house. In this video, you can see it making gingerbread cakes and doing other things that a chef might do. This video is about two or three years old, but it's interesting to see that OpenAI is starting to put money into robotic companies like venture capitalists. I think that what OpenAI is attempting to accomplish with these robotics companies is to get a foothold on a self-driving force. 
They may want to work with these smaller robotics companies so that when it's time for GPT-5 to be merged with the real world and interact with it and move around. OpenAI is good at making their language model, and that's all they're going to work on. When it's time to use it in a robot, they might want to work on a commercial skill or a retail skill for a higher paying client. It's possible that they'll start selling these robots for around $3,000 or for people who don't want maids or people who don't want to do certain repetitive tasks. You can also see here that this is another example of these robots that are patrolling the warehouse and it was definitely very scary. It's interesting to see how well these robots can do simple tasks. In this picture, you can see that it's picking up a suitcase and putting it back in the right place. If you combine this with the GPT-4's knowledge or the GPT-5's improved senses, it's scary to think what they could do. Another thing on the rise is chat GPT plugins. By the time GPT-5 comes out, there will be many different use cases for this platform, and one of them will be doctors. You might think this is a far-fetched idea, but GPT-5 will have a huge number of high-level quality data. And that's the name of the game. Hospitals will have access to a lot of information and be able to do a lot more. Better diagnosis will help doctors do people exactly what they need, and this will happen on a large scale. Maybe there will be a small app you can put on your phone and you won't even have to go to the doctor anymore because you can just ask this health app what's wrong with you and it will tell you. What's really cool is that you can see that chat GPT did save a dog's life after the vets couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. As you can see, it basically told chat GPT what was wrong with their dog and gave it all the information they had. Finally, you can see that in the end, chat GPT was able to figure out what kind of problem the dog might have been having and it did get it right. However, some people are saying that this could be a fluke or that this isn't the whole point of chat GPT because this is not the ideal use case. But think about what it could do if it was fine-tuned for this. If it is trained on every health issue in a certain field and has every image ever of that type of condition, it will get really good at figuring out if it is that condition or not and just think about what it could do in the future when it knows everything. We have robots that can figure out what's wrong with us in a few seconds. This will make for a very fast and large healthcare system. Before GPT-5, one of the first things we need to fix is that GPT-4 only lets you send 25 messages every 3 hours. They are scaling this, but we haven't seen it happen yet. We are also waiting on the multimodal input that they teased but hasn't been released yet. We are also waiting on the GPT-4 API, which will let many different developers build a wide range of things like different cool plugins. There is a lot that needs to be done before GPT-5 is released. We don't know when that date could be announced because OpenAI is sometimes working on advanced software that they may not release. For example, Bing was running on OpenAI GPT-4, but they didn't release it. It will be interesting to see how quickly the development process continues and how quickly things advance, because there are a lot of changes going on in the AI landscape right now, not just with chat GPT, and there seems to be a big problem right now with the AI lead racers. And they are even talking about stopping the development of GPT-5 because they think it will be a major threat to humanity. At the time of recording and making this video, there hasn't been an official statement about whether or not OpenAI will stop making GPT-5. But we do know that if GPT-5 is released, it will have effects all over the world. There will be good effects because it will be a very efficient and effective software, but there may also be very bad effects. It could replace millions of jobs and could also be used in a bad way. We know that this is not OpenAI's goal with GPT-5, but this interview shows us what could happen if this software gets into the wrong hands. We're not that far away from AGI, and if this GPT software does become super intelligent, whoever owns the company will be the most powerful person on the planet because it will be the smartest thing on the planet. Take a look at this example from the early version of GPT-4. It would do anything the user asked it to do without doubt or refusal. Of course, the GPT would not do this in good hands, but think about how bad things could get if it were hacked or if bad people got access to the software. The options are really endless and quite scary. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates and ring the bell notification. I'll see you all in the next one.